Hello, 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 and welcome back to another trek through the dungeon. I kind of just feel miffed about two fails in a row with the Berserking Minotaur. I recorded and posted, so here goes round three. Uh, uh, Race Bull the third. And, uh, we'll do this shit. Ready? Set? Uh, Axe or Spear? Axe or spear? Axe or spear? I think I'm gonna go axe. Uh, better post, a better very late game. Um, spear gives me a little bit more of the reach though, which might help for my suicidality tendencies in such runs. Go axe, fuck it. Uh, right, uh, da da da, manual, yes, focus axes, and keep everything on, it's fine, go, brah, kill. These early stages, very little to think about, just go, go, go. Go, go, go. One, two, three, go, go, go. Sack, move in, go, go, go. Go, go, go. When I clear another floor after this one, I'll go do an armor search and make sure I'm not missing any armor that I could wear. Actually, that was that a jav? Was that a javelin? No, okay. If that was a javelin, that would be worth going back for right now. Actually, shields is also worth going for. It's technically going to slow my axe speed very little, but that's very, very little right now. Dex, because it's right now I have plenty of initial strength. Um, and shields should be disabled. Okay, good. I don't want to train shields at all. Because uh, long term, there's no way in hell I use a shield this game. I might put one point in it if it becomes trivial to do so, but right now every point counts. Oh, no, back off, back off. There's an invisible enemy. There's the snake, which I want dead first, and then we'll back away. Pull one, try a different door. Oh, crap, that's a Sigmund. Berserk. Kill Sigmund. Sack him. Take his pot. Knowing Sigmund, it's a good pot, and I'm starving. At some point, I started to take hunger and didn't notice, so I just burnt my ration to fix that. Burning books as I go, because in a run like this, there's no way I'm ever going to train magic. Oh, I want you all come at me. Hmm. There's my food back, and... Uh, levity over... Kill the mimic. Okay, that's good. Armor. Uh, nothing stands out. Next floor. But yeah, for those who didn't uh, watch the last video or aren't aware of what I was referencing, uh, this is a speed run where the goal is to beat the game as fast as I can um, in real time, not counted in, in steps. Uh, if I there. True speedruns in, in Dungeon Crawl or high score runs are done aiming to maximize, or sorry, minimize the number of steps you take or maximize your score, which, you know, usually means trying to pick up as many runes as you reasonably can in a short period of time. Okay, you know what? That's a bad spot. So, oh my god, just look. Look at you saw the room? Now don't explore it again. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Berserk put me in the wrong place. And I'm dead. I could have tried backing away at that point. I could have tried drinking a potion, but by the looks of it, I didn't even have a good... I, I would have drunk the potion of agility, statistically. Um, really, the mistake was berserking. But I didn't anticipate getting blinked. I don't know how that happened. Presumably, one of them had a disto weapon or something. But let's check the log now that I the game is over, that I can take a look. Uh... The death log should be here. Slow, no damage, you blink. Hits, no damage, you blink. That's really odd. I, I can't explain that. I guess distortion darts, or not distortion darts, displacement darts might spawn that early, and that would have done it. All right, one more attempt, and then the, if I if I fail four or five speed runs in a row, I might just have to call it. Um, 
what would I call a Minotaur Berserker of the Hand Axe? Actually, you know what? Ah, crap. Sorry about that. Apparently, I hit escape at the wrong time and closed the client. Uh, instead of Minotaur Berserker of the Hand Axe, let's actually go spear this time and see what happens. And we will call you Polholio. It's like polio, except it's Polholio. Focus to the spears. Off we go. Bad start for us in terms of being in a have to navigate by hand area. But whatever. Now, this has a reach feature on it, which will help reduce the number of suicidal areas I end up in. Uh, because I'll potentially have at least a one space air gap uh, when I declare attacks. Which actually, now that I think about it, is not very likely, but whatever. Also, it encourages training dexterity for a little bit longer. Because, uh, well, I don't know. The, does the Bardiche take equal weight for both, or does it prefer strength? Because in such a situation... Well, screw it. My my base strength is 21, which would be more than enough to get a, a Bardiche going. So, uh, early dexterity will in increase my dodge. Dodge will increase my survivability. As well as my counter attack at, at melee range. Next. Uh, Jessica, I'm not scared of. Just give me the power to take her down. Near starving, so eat a pear. And pull the worm, please. I'm not starving anymore. Oh my god, seriously? That thing beat the crap out of me. Starving again, completely out of food. But you, you can see I'm I'm a little overbold when it comes to food because this is a character who theoretically will have no need of food pretty quickly. Or I'll always have need, sorry, but will have no end of food pretty quickly. Even factoring in the need to berserk every now and then to burn off some, uh, which burns off food stores. Uh, it's not like I have spell hungering driving my my stats down and my damage is so much higher than average. Wait, wasn't there a... That's what I was looking for. Poison resistance. That just drastically increased my odds of surviving the early game if I was playing slow. Playing this fast, my biggest risk factor is suicides. Uh, anyway. Ah, wrong button. What do you have here that's worth it? Nothing I can afford. Don't care. Uh, put on the ring blind. Plus three evade. Yay! Whoa, Ijib, you are blowing fire. Boots on. Kill. And Yuridil Mool appreciates the fact that I'm a murderer because he's a fucking psychopath. But I already have a deity. And it's not you, Yured. Also, I'm still using a craptastic spear, so I should really stop and look for better weapons pretty soon. Um, in this version at least, uh, the another reason to pick a Minotaur for this, apart from of course auto fighting, which is frankly the number one reason, uh, is the ability to carry a lot of items early on and throughout, because strength contributes to my carrying capacity, so I don't have to worry about item management for a long time. Also, the low, relatively low number of w worthwhile items. I mean, I'm only looking for. I'm not. I'm ignoring all majory basically. Reduces the amount I need to carry. Period. So that speeds things up too, or need to juggle. Period. I should say. There's one other spear in the dungeon. Now I should probably go and pick it up because my current one got corroded. Okay. This is a good time to stop and do a item check to see what I've picked up exactly so that I can actually make use of it when I need to. So let's uh, evaluate. Oh no, go upstairs first and then evaluate. So drink every potion. 
I'll take my chances on being mutated right now. D E F identify J R K R O S T W Y to the V nope A C G Okay, I think that's everything. That's everything. Well, actually, that's remove curse. So let's try that one too. And then E to Choco, just so we've done it. And off we go. Berserk before I'm too. Ah, fuck, it's too late. Berserk now. Nope, still too late. What do I have as an option? Anything? Anything at all that's going to save my ass? Quaffables, heal wounds. Now Berserk will save my ass because now we'll actually put my health to a point that they can't just kill me in a single turn. As long as I can take down the wizard, I should be okay. Or not the wizard, the, uh, theme bob. Wand of fire. You're my only hope. Okay, we got through. Regen MR. See, that's a situation that would never have arisen if I was playing at normal speed. Because I would never have put myself in that much jeopardy. Well, not never, I guess, but I would not have typically put myself in that much jeopardy. But in a run where I'm just holding down tab and only stopping when auto fight tells me to, yeah, it'll happen more, more and more often. You know, the other problem I'm noticing, in my old uh, crawl client, the the one that I actually use the most, the version 0.11, um, I have auto fight set to stop at 50% health. In this version, it's set to stop at 30% health. So... I actually end up in far more near lethal situations, or my, my near lethal situations are even less survivable than they might otherwise have been. If I attempt this a th uh, another time after this, I'll have to change that first, so don't expect a follow up if this one fails. Eat a ration, move on. Hissing flow of sand, well if I find it, great, if not, whatever. Uh, I can take you guys, but I'm going to turn on Trog's hand just to be on the safe side. Hey, hissing flow of sand. Must be this guy. In we go. I mean, I'm not really worried about much of anything, so... Hit me with your best shot. Da -da -da. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? Da -da -da -da. Sorry, I can't sing. Brah! Bro, Marcia! Alright, y'all dead. And you're all dead. And... Another dex. Another dex. Plunder. Try the new scrolls. Uh, this one is going to be enchant armor. So, enchant the armor. How is that not enchant armor? I already... Son of a bitch. Okay, so I've tried the... Apparently, I've failed to enchant twice, which is bad. This one is the enchant armor because it was last tried on a wand. I'm just going to use it so that it's identified. The, real, the correct move is to save it for when I'm actually ready to enchant a super armor, but whatever, don't care. Alright. Uh, there's a scale mail I could go for. Presumably it helps a little bit. Lord knows I've got the strength for it, and I'm training armor constantly, so... If it's not already good, it will be soon. Rather than get sticky flamed, I'd rather berserk to reduce the likelihood. Since at this point... Uh, you guys don't have the ability to poison me, really, so I can probably just take you on heads on. Take down the Blork. E to B. Why am I... Oh, I'm not poison resistant because I took off that armor. Son of a bitch. Uh, whatever. Eat a ration. Move on. Just back off. And take all of you guys on. Do, do. Oh, hey. Glowing Halberd. Do, 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 do. Now, a Halberd is typically not a great weapon. Uh, like, ratio-wise. But... This early on in the game, I don't exactly have a lot of choices, as you saw. 
and considering that I'm at 11 skill with pole arms, it's probably better than using a spear. Yep, attack speed is above average. That's a satisfactory attack speed. I am one-shotting enemies as I run into them. That's what I you see. Uh, also, can you put on some jewelry for me? Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Where's the ID scrolls? There they are. Uh, P. <laughs> this is why I identify, just to make sure it's not inaccuracy and stasis. Literally the worst two for me. Well, I guess, I guess they're, yeah, because instead of just being useless, they're actively harmful. Oh, you guys are so dead. Regen MR just to take no chances. Berserk because I'm being triple teamed. You know, really take no chances. And off we go. In a real game, I would probably have stopped and tried to get them to stand in the book and then let the book on fire. In this game, who cares, just keep moving. Glowing Trident is probably a, a, an improvement off of my Halberd, uh, but it will stop being an improvement pretty quickly, so I'm not going to go back for it. Not just now. Yeah, I realized that I was being hit by something invisible, so I just trapped it in a place where I could easily kill it. Uh, because there is a, wi a priest, I'm going to turn on MR. Because I'm almost dead, I will berserk to give myself the last 20 health I need to survive one more shot, and boom. Do, 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 do. I've been playing a lot of Sonic Racing lately, uh, the video I posted a short clip of, Hill Corporate, and, uh, music is a bit stuck in my head, and it's very appropriate since I'm racing right now against the clock. Oh, you guys are all so fucked. So fucked. I don't think that, uh, flails are considered spears and pole arms. I think it's maces and flails. Drop the zero cap. No, actually, I don't have any headwear, so yeah, go for it. Also, drop the cursed skin that I don't need. Uh, I got you guys. I don't need abilities. Something I began to mention in the previous video uh, was that apart from being able to make snap judgments about a situation on the fly uh, and programming your auto walk correctly. The other big factor that plays into how these runs work out or don't work out is uh your the pathway that you choose. Oh, I'm on fire. Uh drop teleport. Drop identify or enchant weapon. Drop enchant armor. Drop ID. That's good enough. Everything else can burn for all I care. Pick it all up. And take a look at the damage. Yeah, I pretty much don't have any other scrolls left. Also, for the record, I should have dropped these a long time ago. I don't know why I'm carrying my enchantments with me. Oh, god damn. Uh, that was stupid. Heal wounds and back off. Regen MR. I don't have what it takes to berserk just now, so I'm going to need to rely on regen MR to pull me back. Which is not undoable, it's just... Far from optimal. Uh, kill that one quick. Take my chances. Okay, gotcha. Uh, not, not at all optimal. Uh, wand of Telly would be nice. Just take the bigger one. Everything else can go to hell. Um, let's go and hug the centaur. That way, if my the rest of my tele scrolls burn up, I'm not without options. I'm only half without options, because by the time I know that I need it, I'm going to be half dead. Uh, yes, no, 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 no.
Actually, who am I kidding? I'm not using troll leather this game. I'm capable of way better than that. Okay, this is bad because there's no way to auto walk this floor uh, with those electric eels. I have to slow walk it or kill the electric eels. So naturally I go for plan B, but plan B is very risky because electric eels are fucking dangerous. As you can see from the fact that I'm pretty much dead. So, too hungry to berserk, fine, eat an orange and then go berserk. I'll need to finish them quickly. Ah, and there's another one. That's exactly what I did not need to see. He did not kill me while retreating, so I live. Close enough, I can probably nail ya. Killed ya. Okay, Trog Gift. A giant battle axe, of course. Very popular among halberd users these days is to use battle axes. Dick. You know what? Fuck this. This is taking way too long. Just throw up a blanket, do not enter, and we'll only go back there if we have to. Okay, ignore that. You know, what is the point of putting up a giant do not enter sign if you keep going there? I said the whole area is off limits, okay? Dispersal. Fuck. Heh, <laughs> damn near killed me with dispersal. Also kind of highlights the OPness that is the Minotaur Berserker that I can do this at all. I mean, can you name any other character that can be this indifferent to everything that happens? Okay, not any other character. I'm saying any other class, I guess, would be more accurate. You know what? Fuck this shit. Just go downstairs. Just go downstairs as fast as you can find a way down. I'm done with that floor. I sh you know what I should have done is just... Oh, shit, that's a Hydra. And now it has nine heads. Uh, we're going to take our chances on trying to just berserk our way through it. Worked out. Yeah, so again, if you are playing the uh, Minotaur, there's a chance that you can just berserk and kill a Hydra while it grows ahead each attack. Take a step towards them to prevent the projectiles. Now with the axe, I would have been doing cleaving attacks on all of them. Uh, instead of... Ah, oh, crap, that was not what I want. Mutation, not a bad one actually, I got a good set. God, I would give my left horn, metaphorically, for the ability to blink on, on a dime whenever my auto attacks landed me in bad situations. There we go, a glaive, much better. Oh crap, it's a distortion weapon. Which means if I ever unequip it, I might get a bist and just lose. That's fine. For the moment, we'll treat it like it's just a really good weapon, which it is, actually. And we'll just hang on to it until I have to get rid of it. Ah, that's the wrong button. No identif- uh, no. Whatever's- okay, uh, gotcha. Yeah, no enchant scroll, so nothing to worry about there. Into the lair. Put on another ring. Put on another ring. Put on the same ring I had before because it's a little bit more certain to be good. Drop all enchant scrolls I come across. I don't want to burn them for any risk. I'm not entering the volcano, because it'll take a while, and in my limited experience with volcanoes, they're only occasionally EXP dead. Ah, you know what? No, fuck it. Take our chances on the volcano, that's okay. If it's still there, I'll take it. Because, I mean, all I lose is a few minor scrolls, and I'm being too blasé to care. And if there's any EXP, that's more than I would have otherwise had. Yeah, a few toenail golems. And... Net loss to me there is, what, a few seconds? Where's my way out? Standing in the rain. Okay, out we go. 
I don't know if I actually picked up anything or anything of note, but just blaze through, blaze in, blaze out. Didn't care. Any armor? Nothing I care about. All right. I mean, I am wielding a distortion weapon, so against enemies that don't feed on distortion energy, who are very few, especially this early on in the game, I'm probably in good shape. Did I? Oh shit! If there's a Hydra and I multi-attack it, but I blink it around. Yeah, this weapon is going to potentially get me killed very quickly. Sentinel's Mark, perfect. That guarantees that I come into en contact very often, which will quickly fill me up the XP wise. You know, you know, theoretically, I could probably have skipped the lair early on and then come back for it, but I wouldn't fancy my odds doing that. I think the extra EXP is worth the detour. I was already beginning to have a little bit of trouble. I didn't realize dwarves... Or hell, I didn't realize any sentient creature showed up here. I'm pretty sure blink frogs are one of the enemies that benefits from distortion weapons, so. The fact that I was able to dispatch them so easily makes me feel a little more comfortable. We are training all four of the big four. Okay, good. We are. Good, good, good. I'm pretty sure the glaive is kind of the top tier uh, of the polearm tree. I don't recall there being... Oh, no, the Bardiche is. The Bardish, or whatever. How do you pronounce it? Bardish. The Glaive is a good weapon. Or is it the other way around? I remember one of them is really good, and one of them is really good, but better. So, yeah. But, yeah, Brainless is, is pretty much the key... And the fact that, by the way, the fact that this build never gets nerfed, but that the summoner build gets nerfed every patch, pisses me off so much. Honestly, I, I not because I'm, I'm I'm not calling for this build being nerfed. I'm calling for summoners being not nerfed. I don't see the need to nerf summoners. It's okay to have a race where somebody who just wants to dink around with the game can't. Yes, mark me. I want to deal with enemies quickly. And what other armor do you have here? Drop the cap. And drop this. If I can't wear the cap, I don't see the point in it. Okay, this is going to be good. So go Berserk. And then fuck the Hydra up. Nope. The Hydra wins. I can't begin to fight this. Blink very far away. Blast it with fire as much as I can. I'm out of fire. Take my chances with the other wands. Nope. Fail. Well, it was worth a shot. Uh, the alternative would have been to, just, to take one look at the Hydra and know that I was going to lose that fight up front. And then use uh, teleport charge to get away. But I didn't bank on my fire wand running out in one shot. Three shots would probably have killed it pretty comfortably. I could have tried to recharge my fire wand earlier, but not at the speed I was playing. <laughs> oh man, and apparently he now is right up there with Boring for another Minotaur Berserker. So my morgue is getting a little full with these, with these Minotaur Berserkers. I'm going to have to put in a real melee run at some point so that you can see what it looks like when I don't play stupid. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.